Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to another weekly tune-up right here on DGTV. I appreciate all the feedback you gave me last week about the tune-up, saying it was very helpful and you appreciate the points we made. That's really important to me to know that I'm kind of on track with all of this. You know, it's important for me to know you're getting something from these. And always remember, if you have something you want to talk about or you want me to talk about or study or research for you and give you information, I'm more than happy to do that. You can contact me at my email address at drgarydaniel at aol.com. As I was moving through a lot of the emails and reading them, one of the biggest subjects that seems to get a lot of hits on our website where all the former daily tune-ups are stored and questions I'm asked all the time is about fear. So I think we're going to talk a little bit about that right now. Fear is something that really is kind of between your ears. It's the way we look at things. It's the way we think about things. And if you can just remember this, whenever you become very, very fearful about something, there's an instant remedy for it. And it's a very simple remedy. And sometimes you may take a look at this and listen to what I'm going to say and say, well, Gary, it just can't be that easy. However it is, I use it all the time. Man, in my life, I'm scaring the daylights out of myself all the time over things because I'm always pushing the edge. And I have a lot of you wanting me to help you, so therefore I kind of have to pioneer and spearhead some of these ideas and get them to work myself. In this day and age we're living in right now, fear is something that is going to be in your life all the time. Fear is not a bad thing. It's not a good thing. It's just a thing, and it's different for everyone. Each one of us look at things differently. We call that a complex equivalency. And what that means is it is the formulation of all of our beliefs, all of our experiences. Everything we've ever done is built upon a complex equivalency that's inside of our belief system. It's the things we believe we can do. It's the things we believe we can't do. It's the things that we are fearful of and the things that we feel courageous about. So when we look at fear, we have to understand it's really kind of unique to each one of us, the way we view it, the way we understand it, and the way we feel it. If you're in a fearful place right now, whether it's financially or in a relationship, or maybe you're just all alone, or maybe you've lost someone, one of the things I want you to understand is the fear that you're feeling, the fear that you think about, first of all, starts in the way you think. Now, I know that sounds simple. Listen to this. If you'll simply learn to understand that fear is looking into the future, when you're looking into tomorrow, the next day, or next week, or even next month, with a negative expectation, which means you're looking towards tomorrow or next week like something's not going to happen or something is going to happen. The rule of thumb is, though, it hasn't happened yet. And one of the quick ways to eliminate fear out of your thought process is to understand one simple thing. And the law of physics dictates this, that you can only be in one place at one time. Which means, this moment right here, right now, is where you are. That thing you're thinking about in the future, you're not there yet. One of the great reframes for fear is to simply tell yourself, you know what, that hasn't happened yet, and I'm in control of it right now. What can I do today to change that outcome I'm looking to tomorrow? It puts you back in control understanding that once we understand that when we're focusing on something fearful we're really looking into the future with a negative expectation meaning we're thinking about it in a negative way and it hasn't even happened yet simply tell yourself that hasn't happened yet what can i do about it today that simple reframing statement will put you back in charge also there's another statement you can use that works very powerfully i'm going to decide that isn't that big a deal to me right now i'm going to decide that sentence right there, anytime you put I am in front of something, your subconscious mind stands to attention and listens to it. So let's work on fear. There's really nothing to be afraid of. Everything in our life we create anyway through the way we think about things, the way we do things, and our actions, really. And there's always things that we're not in control of. Those are the things not to be so concerned about because we all have that going on. Focus on the stuff that you're terrorizing yourself with, your own thoughts, and then bring yourself back into the moment and tell yourself, what can I do about that right now? And if you look at it and there's still nothing you can do about it, then you have to tell yourself, I'm going to decide it's just not that big a deal to me right now. It is what it is. So let's work on that. Again, I appreciate all of you giving me feedback. You're more than welcome to email me at 
Dr. Gary Daniel at AOL.com, thank you for watching. Pass this on to someone who it will help. And always remember, we're going to build this list because of you. And the only reason these are going out there is because of you. So help someone else find these. We really appreciate it. And until next week, this is Dr. Gary wishing you an extraordinary, fear-free day. Bye-bye.